All right, we're at 11 minutes after 7 o'clock right now. Well, welcome back and checking in with Ryan PC Tremble in the studio with us to see yep. what you found trending online. Good morning. Good morning, Kim, and good morning, Gannon. And good morning, you guys. So let's get things started with a trending roundup. So Thor, the god of thunder, is now Thor, the goddess of thunder. The announcement was made on The View yesterday. Uh, in Marvel Comics Universe, whoever is worthy of holding Thor's hammer can hold it, and the old guy is no longer worthy. So, Marvel has introduced a new, more lady-tastic Thor. Now, that new series will debut in October. Jenny Lewis, who you see here, her first album in six years drops at the end of the month, and the new single is out. Just One of the Guys stars Kristen Stewart, Brie Larson, and Anne Hathaway as uh, her backup band, as well as several of the guys in the title. That new album comes out at the end of the month. And finally, this is a story that's such a cool story. A venture capitalist, Tim Draper, submitted signatures yesterday to put on the California ballot a plan to divide the state into six smaller states. Whoa. Yes, he says that right now California is too big to govern as it is and it would actually be better managed as six smaller states. It is a huge state. Idea. It's gigantic. And uh, he had talked about that. I remember doing this, uh, I think, in March that he was gathering signatures. He needed 44,000 and he got them all. So now that means that that can go on the ballot and Californians can vote on if they want to divide up the state. Wow. Yeah. Sounds like a tough domino to push over though. I think so, but honestly, I think it might be a good idea. Because he says the state is so big and so diverse that someone in Northern California doesn't have the same needs at all as someone in Southern That's California. Mean. So, but six, I guess I could see maybe two or three, yeah. really six different Six, I think, states. might be, maybe if they just cut it in half, that might be a little bit better. But six is a lot, definitely. That's a lot. I mean, when was the last time America even divided a state like that? One oh of the gosh. Dakotas, maybe? Decades, yeah. <laughs> I think, I think it must have been like one, one of the, the Carolinas. Carolinas. <laughs> yeah, one of the Carolinas, I have no idea. Who knows? Yeah. But wait a minute, Thor, there's no new name for this Thor? No, mm. it's still, Goddess, it's a, she's, she's still a she's Thor? She's still Thor, yeah. She's now, now she's the superhero Thor, so it's you know a little bit different from the, the Norse mythology, but she's a superhero, and now whoever holds the hammer, whose name I can't say, because it's in some weird fake Scandinavian language. Whoever, <laughs> whoever holds the hammer, even though I can almost speak Swedish, I can't say, I know, something with an M and then a J, it doesn't matter. But my friends would get angry at me for not being able to say it. I'm sorry, Teeny, that I cannot pronounce it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it is, it is still Thor. She is still called Thor, but now she is just uh, a woman. You know, well, <laughs> I, I watch um, the well, show Vikings. Just a woman? Not just a woman. Of course, not just a woman. Did you hear yeah. him say just a woman? Ju oh. Oh, no, that struck your ear a little bit harsher than it did. Yeah. Oh, See, mm. Kim, I even... Stay away I, from that one. I put this story in for you because I, oh, it was a you. nice woman-empowering story, and then you have yeah, to... You put your foot in your mouth. Find the wrong thing that I said. I'm I, sorry, again. What, what, what you what, Oh, my favorite show. It, it is my favorite these days. It is a show called Vikings. It's a drama on the History yeah, I've Channel. I've seen that. It is really and cool. It, it, yeah, it's just well done. And I'm thinking, as you're reading that story, that if someone in that age <laughs> would have proclaimed that Thor was a woman... The other Vikings probably would have done mean things to that person. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But <laughs> pretty violent show. Definitely. But it's 2014. So Some of the women are violent okay. in that show. They're yeah. pretty tough they, women. They, they are. Take, they Those take Vikings. up their shields and their swords. They and, fight and, right and alongside they go the do men. Stuff. Yeah. yeah. All exactly. right. So go we'll, Thor. We'll see what the not just a woman Thor does when that comes out in October. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so you know, uh, uh, when you oh, are they playing it? I don't know. I can't hear it. Can you guys hear it? Nope. Okay, well, at any rate, so uh, the people you go to help when a product decision. you own goes wrong are called customer service reps, of course. I uh, mean, they're supposed to help the customer. Well, uh, this guy uh, must have missed that orientation to customer service rep uh, because over at Comcast, they're now saying they're embarrassed after this call with a guy named Ryan Block went viral. He tried to call to cancel his Comcast service. And um, the guy says, he's asked him a ton of questions. He says, so what is it about this other internet provider uh, that's making it sound so much better than the number one TV service available? And then Ryan Block says, I don't know. I just want to change. And the guy won't let him. He keeps on the phone for 20 minutes. Oh, wow. I think we, we did have it. Can we play it again so we can hear it this time maybe? Or I don't know if we've got it queued up. So but what is it about this other internet provider, this other TV provider that's I don't know. It's totally arbitrary decision. Okay, so so why not keep what you know works? Okay, so they're he's selling wow. his product. But yeah, we'll... yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, he. Uh, he block, you know, he tries to get his service canceled, but the rep will just not let him at all. Um, he keeps asking to explain himself, blah, blah, blah. The call only asks after the caller uh, says that he's just going to stop call it, stop talking and wait for the cancellation to go through. 
Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. I guess he finally got just, he was just done. Yeah. Yeah. I see that service rep maybe having a future as a trial lawyer. <laughs> I mean, it just as soon as he got an answer, he fired back with another question. Yeah. I, I can yeah, see yeah, him yeah. really grilling a witness. Definitely. Yeah. And, no, and you usually hear with things like that, you usually hear where it's like the customers are being mean and the service rep is like being calm and like trying mm -hmm. to do stuff. But this is the reverse where the customer, you know, Block was very, very calm the whole time. And, and that, you know, it was funny because the actual name of the department that transferred him to was customer retention. So I guess the guy was doing his job because oh, he was yeah. doing everything in his power to, to keep him. keep him on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. But uh, he didn't, so he's, <laughs> he switched now. And Comcast yeah. said they were very, very sorry. Yes, he did. That was definitely a fail on their part. <laughs> but what is not a fail is Gannon's video, which is pretty neat. Yeah, there's a heck of a connection. Actually, a few of them in this video. A lot of trick shots done in basketball. Occasionally, you see ones done like this with the old pigskin. How about that one, just as an opener? Dude throws the ball out in front of his car, it bounces, and he catches it through the sunroof. No big deal, right? How about this? Whoa. Are Ooh. you kidding me? This is a timing route right here. I, this just doesn't even look possible to me. See? You know, I, 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 I hear what you're saying. But I mean, like, <laughs> like uh, I guess maybe take 350. <laughs> it must have been. Maybe. You know, when, when I saw this video for the first time, I was like, I don't want to pull a camera or anything, but... I don't think this it's is real. real. I, I, I thought the same thing. But so. but it's pretty neat. It was with GoPro, right? Yeah, yeah. He's oh. got it. He's got a camera mounted on the top, so you can see. My favorite shot is when you can see the driver really look the pass right into his hands. Through, right here. Whew. I mean. And, and right so here. Neat. Don't try this at home. <laughs> right. Those trailers are not attached to tractors and they are quite stationary. Yes. I would assume this is a closed lot. Probably something like that. <laughs> no one was injured, <laughs> thankfully. Right.